up guys, Shay Stars with the Droid Modern X. Today I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HTC One M8 on Verizon using an RUU. There are several available. There are actually RUUs for 4.4.2, 4.4.3, and 4.4.4. This is a good way to update yourself to the latest over-the-air update. Or if you happen to be in a soft brick, this is a way to unbrick your device. So as you all know, 4.4.4 just came out. In just a matter of days, JCase and Bopes were able to root that and have released a weak sauce too. If you're not on the latest 4.4.4 update, this is a good way to get there. We're gonna go ahead and flash this RUU. Let's get started. All right guys, so first you wanna go to the link in the description that'll bring you to this page here. Uh, you're going to scroll down past the uh, image of the RUU and uh, you'll go down here where it says downloads RUU link and you will be looking for the app exe version right here go ahead and download that and once it's downloaded you'll go ahead and extract it to the desktop so it's going to take a little while to extract just give it a few minutes it's a pretty big file so we'll go ahead and let that extract okay so it looks like you'll actually want to create a folder first and extract it to that folder otherwise it's just going to fill up your desktop with a bunch of crazy uh, just a crazy number of different files. So we'll go ahead and open up the new directory that we've created. Okay, we're looking for the arewizard.exe, so that's this one here. We'll go ahead and double click it, and that should launch the file. Okay, so here we are. It says, welcome to the firmware update utility for Android phone. This will update the firmware of your HTC One M8. So we'll go ahead and check the, I understand the caution indicated above. Click next to proceed. It should be mentioned that this is for uh, s off. HTC One M8s only and for the Verizon version. So just make sure that you are already s offed and that you are on Verizon. So just turn on your Android and connect it to your PC using the USB cable provided. So we'll go ahead and turn on our phone. Okay, so it says to go into your settings, disable the standby and hibernation mode. So we'll go into, uh, we'll go into display, we'll turn the sleep on to 30 minutes of inactivity. Just make sure that your battery is at more than 30%, so we're good to go there. We'll go ahead and connect our phone via USB, and then we'll just set our phone to the side. We'll select I have completed the steps indicated above, and select next. Okay, so if you get this message here, uh, USB connection error, make sure that your phone is in USB debugging mode. So turn on developer settings and check the USB debugging. So we'll have to exit it and try again. Okay, so this is the current information about your Android phone. It gives you the image that you're on. It's so a select one below. So we'll update to the current firmware version. And we'll select next to proceed. So during the process, the following things will occur. The Android phone will be prepared for the update process. The progress information will be displayed both on your PC and Android phones. The update completed screen will be displayed on the PC. We'll go ahead and select next. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and do everything that needs to be done here automatically. So we'll just kind of sit and wait. It says that the operation takes about five minutes and then your first boot will take five minutes or more. Okay, when everything's finished, you'll see this screen. Congratulations, firmware update has been completed. Your phone's firmware is up to date. You may now install a ROM. Uh, we'll go ahead and select finish. And you'll see that it is booting back up. I have the Verizon screen now before I had AOKP on the phone, so I should be running stock 4.4.4. We'll take a look at that as soon as it boots up just to be sure. Okay, now that we're all booted up, we'll go ahead and head into settings. Go to about, and we will go to software information. You guys can see that we are now running Android 4.4.4. Software number is 3.28.605.4. So this brings us up to the very latest HTC Sense 6 4.4.4 and this is also pre-rooted so if we go into our settings drawer should be able to find these super SU applications there as you guys can see. So if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.